um I was like to him, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, you need to stop with this I'm from Northwest talk. What's this postcode talk? I'm from Northwest, I'm from Northwest. Because if I tell you now I'm from Southwest, what's what's really good? What does that mean to you? What? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well and good. I hope you guys had a good week and I hope you guys learnt from it. Back again with another video and today's video is a story time. And this story time is the time when I started my first year of uni and my flatmate called her big brother on me and he knocked on my door. <coughs> on a grease thing. Usually I want to do my story times with like a red cup type of vibe but um, I don't have any red cup today and I'm drinking water. So, just enjoy the story time either way. For those who don't know, I go to Canterbury Christ Church University and in my first year, which was three years ago, four, three or four years ago, in my first year, um, I lived in student accommodation. Because I got into this uni kind of late, um, I didn't get any first type of pick in my student accommodation, so I ended up staying in like the most expensive accommodation. And it was just filled with like middle class people, it was just so expensive like literally really 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 expensive so i ended up living in student accommodation and in my flat there was only two girls literally only two girls and everybody else that like, had like eight people six people seven people why was i the person that had only two people in my flat like make matters worse my room was literally next to the reception office literally right there right there so playing music and being loud being like that it had to be kind of minimum that like I could still do what I wanted to do but it had to be minimum because they would complain because they could hear it so just like so yeah I lived with two girls one girl called we'll just call her we'll call her Jodeci and the other girl we'll call her Claudia because she's Polish so Claudia and Jodeci Jodeci is like she's that skinned. This girl, this Jodeci girl, she's proper proper nice. I was thinking, alright, cool, maybe we can get along. Jodeci and Claudia did the same subjects, so they both did, I think they both did sociology and psychology. I do criminology, so they were always gonna form like a bond. I had my friends, I had three friends. I made one friend in my block called Selena, then the other two, Ade and Yasmin, I already knew from college, so. Other than that, I didn't actually really make any friends. They were their clique, and then if I wanted to see these, well, I would go to their room. Reason being, I don't know how to explain it. Like, her and Claudia, they just did mad things. Like, one time um, I did a food shop, grocery shop, and obviously in our freezer we had four shelves. There's three of us, we get a shelf each, and there's one spare. So one time I bought my freezer food, there was bare freezer food, I put it all in my shelf and then I put like three packets of something in the fourth shelf, three or four, thinking, because obviously my thing's overflowing, cool. Day that evening I wanted an ice cream, I go into the freezer now, the freezer wasn't even closed, the freezer was not closed, I was thinking, why is the freezer not closed? These girls, they literally, the things that I left in that fourth drawer, they squished, when I tell you, they squished it, they squished it in my um, third, my, my drawer. I knocked on their door now, I was like, yo, like, why did you do that? <laughs> Just plain and simple, why did you do that? And they were like, oh, how, I don't know why you feel like you're entitled to take the fourth um, shelf, the fourth drawer, um, we have things to, but we make do, blah, 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 blah. I was like, as you can see, you've evidently left the freezer door open. So regardless of you like thinking that I'm taking the fourth shelf, this and that, your things are gonna defrost and melt and spoil as well. So when no one really, they were really wincy or like, it was just dumb shit like that. Like, just brushed that apart. I put my things back in the the fourth drawer. We left that cool. Another time now. Um, I was cooking food, I bought my seeds and everything like that, but I forgot to buy salt, like I literally forgot to buy salt. So obviously Joe the Sea, um, she wasn't in the, she wasn't actually in the flat at the time, I remember. She wasn't in the flat at the time because I actually knocked on the door to ask her if I could use the salt. She wasn't in, 
So I used a pinch of her salt. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Literally, a, a pinch of salt. It was for spaghetti. Like literally, a pinch of salt. She comes back in the evening. She knocks on my door. She was like, "Who do you think you are to leave bolognese sauce on my my salt packet? This and that." She pop her holding the salt like this. Who do you think you are? Leave a bolognese. I was thinking. If you saw how, like, if you saw the mark of the salt, it, like, if you literally saw the mark of the salt, yeah, I'm so angry because I'm in Ken right now and I don't have the picture of it on my six, I have it on my five. And I took a picture of the mark because I thought this girl was actually bugging out, like, she was actually moving so mad, I don't understand it. So, because this happened so long, like, three, four years ago, I can't remember what it was that was, like, the top off to what she did next now. So one day now, I'm getting ready for to my session to go to the library. I had an SAG. I was going to bang out one mad library shift, literally. Then, I hear a knock on my door. Then something, like, a letter slide through my door. Like, <laughs> slide through my door. I looked at it. Then I walked up to my door, I opened my door, no one was there. So I get the letter and it said Stephanie on the envelope. Like it was literally on the envelope, it says Stephanie dot. I was like, then she said, she wrote a letter, said that I've had it up to here with you, ignoring everything I'm saying, thinking you run the kitchen and everything like that. You, you have two drawers in the freezer. She was wilding out, like this girl was actually wilding, wilding out. I was thinking to myself, This girl actually sent me a letter. She sent me a letter. She wrote me a letter. So I knocked on her door. I knocked on her door now. And she, no one answered the door. No one was there. I knocked on the Polish girl's door. No one was there. So she, this JDC girl, she dropped the letter and she cut literally. I got out my pen and paper for my lectures, for my library research. I got a pen and paper and I wrote her a letter back. I said, Seeing as you can't be old enough to talk to me face to face, let me speak to you in a language that you understand and write your letter back. Oh. Yeah. That's exactly what I said to her. Because what the fuck you fucking... The fuck? So I sent her this letter. I mean, I wrote her this letter saying, don't ever send me a letter. Are you crazy? Like, I don't know what antics... I don't know where you're from, but... We don't send letters here, we talk face to face, we're grown. What do you, what do you mean send a letter? Like, I can't remember, I think I just remember going ham because I'm thinking, nah, like, sending letters. Wow. Wow. Literally. I pushed the letter through her door and I went to the library. I banged out a mad shift, like I'd done an eight hour shift. Crazy shift, done an eight hour shift now. Cool. I go back into my room, I go back to my room. I've had a long day, like a proper long day. I was even thinking, let me go Tesco and buy a bottle of wine because it was long. Like, I even finished the essay eight hours in the library, I remember. I banged it out. As I'm just chilling, about to unwind and things like that, I just hear a knocking, 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 knocking on the door. I'm thinking, who's knocking on my door? I've opened the door now. One light nice skin brother with one Nike top, one 2002 Nike top. Some Adidas tracksuits and some 97s. I remember this clearly because I was thinking, what a joke, man. <laughs> what a joke, man. What are you doing at my door? I asked the door, I was like, hello. He was like, yo, are you Stephanie? I was like, yeah. He was like, yo, um, he holds up the letter now. He was like, oh, I hear that you're troubling my sister now. Do you want to explain this letter to me? I was like, what? And then he was like, no, 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 just answer the question. Do you want to explain what this letter is? I actually, I kid you not, guys, I just looked at him like this. I looked, trying to look behind him to see if this girl's behind him. No one's there. I was like, where's your sister? Why are you here? He was like, I'm from Northwest. I'm from Northwest. I'm from Northwest. I kid you not, guys. He said it three times. He said it three times. I remember because that pissed me off. And as you can see, I got here in a flash. My sister told me that you were troubling her, and I came here in a jiffy. What's up? <laughs> um, 
I was like to him, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, you need to stop with this I'm from Northwest talk. What's this postcode talk? I'm from Northwest, I'm from Northwest. Because if I tell you now I'm from Southwest, what's what's really good? What does that mean to you? What what a joke man driving all the way to Kent for a problem, a, not even a problem, a situation that we and this girl could have spoken ourselves. He was like Anyway, I flew down here because I'm trying to show you what I'm on. If my sister tells me again that you're troubling her, sending her letters, don't worry, I'll be back and I'll be back with my boys. When he said that, he put it that, he was like, I'll be back with my boys. I was like, all right, bro. I was like, all right. Where's your sister? He was like, don't worry about her. Because this conversation is between me and you. I was like, all right, cool. Is, are you done now? Are you done? He was like, you think you're cheeky now, innit? <laughs> you think you're cheeky, I see the southwest in you still. I was like, nah, I closed the door. <laughs> I closed the door. I closed the door, I was thinking, is this uh, is this real life right now? I closed the door. I called Ade, Yasmin, Sunina. I was like, guys, this girl called her brother on me. This guy's chatting shit. <laughs> like, this is actually chatting shit. And I was like, what is she meant? Why is she cool? Why is a big man go, uh, being rude to little girls for type of thing? She was like, I'm coming now. That's when I was like, I'm coming. Sneha was like, I'm coming downstairs. Cool. This was like 15, 20 minutes later. By the time they came downstairs, the boy was gone. The brother cut, like he literally came to do his mission. He flew down, he came to speak to me and then he cut. Only the girl was there and the Polish girl, they were in the kitchen now. So obviously we've come into the kitchen. I'm just standing there, I was like, what, what what's going on G like why'd you call your brother why'd you call your brother on me like you tell your brother that you wrote me a letter because you're making it seem like I just randomly wrote you a letter like that's something that I do who, who does that like who does that he was like uh, yeah well anyway you heard him you've heard him loud and clear but she was kind of shaking and he was like nah nah he's a big man you know he's a big man and he's come to to send threats to little girls saying that I'm coming back with my guys. Is that someone you call your brother? Hey, I they went, ha. <laughs> after that day, after that day, it just got awkward in that house. And the mad thing about me being in that flat, I was hardly there. I was either always in Ade's room because Ade had her setup was was patterned. Her setup was patterned. We would always sleep over there, me, Yasmin and Selena, literally in her room. So I was hardly in that house before, but after that day, it just got so awkward. I was, I was really hardly there. Every time we saw each other in this flat, we just, it was like we didn't exist. I swear down, university showed me that not everyone is the same as you. Not everyone is from the same area as you. Not, not everyone is from the same place as you. Like, everyone is different. People think different. That, that was my first year of uni. I'm thinking, man said that she called her big brother on me. In my whole life, that has never happened before, but it happened when I entered uni. I was thinking, yeah. Uni will definitely not defeat me because I will defeat you. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of the story time, guys. <laughs> that's the end of the story time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that was just one of the one of my uni adventures, I guess. And there's something that really pissed me off because I when I tell you, I remember this guy's attire. Every time I tell this story to people, I always say this guy wore an old neck top, Adidas tracksuit, and 97s. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. You know the usual procedure. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my other socials, Steph Gump. And yeah, I hope to see you next week in the next video. I don't know what it's gonna be. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you soon. Share, tell everyone about this video, tell everyone about me and yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. God bless, take care and see you later. Bye.